Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a very fun video to share with you. As you can tell, I'm gonna be sharing with you my best or favorite top makeup of the entire year, so favorite makeup of 2015. I'm very excited, I have a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna go through stuff kind of fast, but I wanted to ask you guys, because this stuff today is just makeup, just makeup, no skincare, no brushes, no anything like that, just because I already have so much, and I know the video is going to be long already. You guys let me know down in the comments if you would like to see like a best kind of miscellaneous. So like brushes or skincare or just kind of random other beauty products. If you want to see like a part two of this video, please let me know and I'm happy to do that for you. So for this video, I'm going to try my best. It's kind of a mess, but I'm going to try my best to go in order of like how I would apply it to my face, like complexion, you know, etc. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. All right, so first up, I actually have an eye cream, which I just told you guys this is all makeup, but this eye cream, which is the Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Eye Cream, comes in this jar. It's like a super thick, emollient, hydrating, satisfying eye cream. I keep this in my concealer drawer, and I use it specifically every single time I wear under eye concealer. I will put this on first as kind of like a primer for that. And this just helps, if you haven't heard me chirp about this before because I feel like I pimp this baby out all the time, it just helps your concealer go on better, less crepey looking. It just kind of plumps and hydrates that under eye area. So for me, this is like a eye under eye concealer primer. And then for an actual facial primer for the whole face, my top one that I did narrow down to one and it wasn't even that hard for me, this is the Murad Invisible or Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF. 30 treats blurs and protects this is very silicone and kind of slippery but super duper satisfying on dry skin it just makes the line fine lines and wrinkles like that's a fine line or wrinkle it kind of like fills it in and helps your makeup glide on so much smoother i love that it's skincare and a primer all in one so i that's my favorite primer. Next category is foundations so first up i have my mac studio fix fluid spf 15 I love these. These are so versatile for me. I have two colors, um, by the way. I do NC, NC15, and I'll mix it with a little bit of NW13, which is not super pink tone. If you're familiar with MAC and their shade ranges, the NW generally means more like cool or pink, which I'm definitely not, but this one definitely, it just works. <laughs> so I mix those together. I could just use either or, but I just mix them together because I like the color of that better. These are so versatile for me. I can shear these out with like a beauty blender and get more of a medium coverage or I can really build it up just more layers and get a nice full flawless coverage with this. So it's very, very versatile. It's also a very, very long wear, like an all day wear foundation. So I love that. And then next I have to shout out the custom cover drops by Cover FX. I have mine in the shade N10 and these are just like a pure pigment. I think it's pure pigment like a little dropper like that and you mix it in with anything, any foundation, any moisturizer, any skincare treatment to get like your own custom tinted coverage product. I honestly haven't mixed this in with like moisturizer or primer just because I like to mix it in with foundation. And specifically my favorite foundation to mix in with this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Foundation. This is the newest formula. The shade that I have, and I kind of use a few different shades, this one is Y215, and this stuff is amazing. It's just not, it's amazing on its own, but it's just not as full of a coverage as I would prefer some days. So that's when I will mix it in with the custom cover drops. But yeah, I mean, I like it on its own. It's just more like medium buildable coverage so very nice finish perfect for dry skin just love that so much next i have a concealer can you believe that i only have one concealer to share with you because it was pretty easy to narrow it down because this has like been my ride or die the longest like all year long this is the clinique line smoothing concealer and i use the shade i think it's moderately fair number three the one that i just pulled out today is zero two number or zero two light so i use both of those they both work for me they're kind of more of like a peachy tone so i don't and i don't use these for like facial blemishes i specifically strictly use these for the under eye area full coverage very 
just satisfying on dry skin. And I know a lot of you guys have purchased this based off of my recommendation and I'm happy to hear that it works for so many of you. Next, I am gonna talk about face powders. And I don't have any setting powders just because I used so many different ones throughout the year that I just don't have like an ultimate favorite. But for powder foundations, I have two. They're both It Cosmetics. One is the Celebration Foundation, just the regular. And then the other one is the Celebration Foundation Illumination, which is super long. So this one obviously is illuminating and it just has more of like a sheen. I think it's so beautiful, but if you have a ton of texture or fine line, tons and tons of wrinkles, like deep wrinkles, this might look like textury on your skin so I wouldn't recommend it for that but just like in places you want to have like a glow like the center of your forehead or like on your cheeks I think this would be super pretty and this one the it cosmetic just the regular one I just love in general as well the only bad thing about these is they're just not the longest wear they break down on me kind of fast like after four four hours or so which kind of sucks but the powder and the product in general is super beautiful and it doesn't really get cakey and you can definitely build it up to get it cakey but you know i just sweep mine on with a like a dual fiber face brush and it's just so pretty next i have bronzers and kind of contours because some of these i use a little bit as a contour as well as a bronzer but i don't have any like specific contouring products just because it's one of those things that I just switched up so many times throughout the whole year that I don't have like one super duper favorite but kind of my I guess my my favorite if I had to pick like a bronze contour is the Tarte the Sculptor and mine like wore off I think this one is in the shade Park Ave Park Ave Princess and it's just like a little chubby crayon it's like a reddish tan color which doesn't seem like it'd be ideal for contouring but I just put it under my cheekbones under my my jaw and around my temple so I use it as more of like a bronzer and contour in one and then just blend it out this is the most undetectable just beautiful flattering enhancing like gives you that kiss that sun kissed look that I love I love this for like more neutral makeup days it's just beautiful. I definitely love that one. And then the other bronzers, I have four because I just love bronzers because let's be real, I'm pale and I like to make it look like I'm not quite dead. Um, so I like to add a little bit of warmth to my face. So this one is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. I have mine in the shade I-15 and which I think that one means iridescent, but even though it's like iridescent, it doesn't it doesn't leave like shiny or anything. It's just like a really beautiful, healthy, healthy sheen, which you'll definitely see that trend with my bronzer favorites because I always look for something that's gonna add some life and help look back into my, my dull, dry skin. So I love that one. And they have a lot of different colors to choose from with that. My next favorite bronzer is NARS. Laguna bronzer which is pretty much like a cult favorite but I discovered this towards the beginning of the year and this is such a beautiful contour I'll take it with the NARS Eda brush and contour with it and then bronze with it at the same time and it just works it's beautiful when I wear this as a bronze and a contour I get the most compliments on my makeup like on my bronze and contour people are like contour is beautiful contour on fleek so I get so many compliments and just looks natural not like too harsh but definitely like makes the cheekbones apparent so I love that one and then the other one looks really really dirty this is the hourglass ambient lighting bronzer in luminous bronze light which is the lighter of the two so this one has bronzer mixed in with like the luminous powder I suppose it is <laughs> like the peachy one this is so freaking beautiful it looks really orange like when you when you swatch it it kind of does and it looks a little shimmery but take my word for it this is so beautiful on the skin this is gonna be like one of the most flattering bronzers like for mature skin for dry dull skin it's just beautiful and that's all for bronzers I thought I had another one but I was mistaken. <laughs> All right, next let's do highlighters and I whittled it down to only three, which is like pretty insane because I'm dry. I have dry skin and I just love highlight. I think it's just, it will add that like kick of healthiness back in your skin, which is what I look for in my makeup. So I do have three. I have two like kind of more expensive ones and one from the drugstore. So first, this one's probably gonna be in like everybody's favorites. It's the Becca Champagne Pop which was Jaclyn Hills, or is Jaclyn Hills collaboration with them. This is so beautiful, even though 
I have fair skin. I just didn't think this would work for me so well, but it truly, truly does. So I can attest to the fact that it works for a very fair skin. I'm about as fair as they come, guys. And I know that it works beautifully on deeper skins as well, like medium and, and deeper as well. So she did an amazing job. This is a great mixer too, but I love it on its own at, at the same time. The other one is the Ofra collab with Dupe That. And specifically the color that I love the most is You Glow Girl, which is like a pinky champagne. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is like, these are super intense. Well, actually all my highlighter picks are super intense of a highlight because that's what I like. So not su not subtle at all. So if you want a subtle highlight, I don't recommend any of these. So I love that one. And then the last one is from the drugstore and I think it's only five or $6. And this one is super intense as well. And this comes in other colors, but this was my favorite color. It's Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter or Highlight Powder. And the shade that I love the most is this like white gold in the color called Golden Light. So this is like a little bit chunky, but for the price, this is beautiful. Again, very, very intense and striking of a contour and is that like white yellow gold color. So I love that. For blush, I am proud of myself because I narrowed it down to two formulas and two colors from each formula. So the first are the Too Faced Love Flush blushes. I mean, I love all the colors, but Honestly, these are the two that I've worn the most and that I just think are the most flattering on myself. And of course, the first one is Baby Love, which is like a, just a beautiful nudie peach color. It just goes with any look. And then the other one is this purple, which you think would be kind of too intense, but for some reason, it just applies and performs so beautifully on the skin. Even on fair skin, using a light hand, it's just so beautiful. And this is called Your Love is King. So there's that one. You just can't go wrong with the packaging. So darling. And then my other standout favorite blushes are the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pops. Two colors specifically are this one here. This one is Ginger Pop. So like a kind of like a corally, like a corally color, I suppose you would call that. Oops. <laughs> just beautiful. And then the other one, just because it does go with everything, is this color in Nude Pop. So obviously just a nude color. These have such a beautiful sheen to them. You can use them a ton and that beautiful flower is still there. It doesn't like go away when you use it a couple times. So I love that. And the Love Flush, the Love Flush blushes by Too Faced. These are so long wear. And for an eyeshadow primer, the one that I've just used the most is MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, which I think last year I would say I definitely used Soft Ochre the most, which is more of a yellow tone. But this one, just my most reach for. So it definitely had to make the list. And then moving on to eyeshadows. I mean, I have to shout out all Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I just, I love them. I probably, I use them the most in videos and daily life. And these are just some of my colors. And then specifically for Makeup Geek as well, they're foiled eyeshadows, which Marlena knocked these out the park. Home run. So beautiful and just foiled and metallic and just perfection. So love the foiled. Well, most of these are foiled. These are some of the matte colors, but I thought they looked pretty in my like rainbow palette here. So definitely if you have not checked those out, you need to for sure. And then let's see another eyeshadow formula that definitely is like an absolute favorite is the Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadows. I love all of the colors that I own. I own pretty much all of them except for some of like the insane bright colors. But in if I had to pick one favorite color, the most used color is Thunderstruck, which is this intense white gold color. It's beautiful. I use this as a highlight, a face highlight, but I also love it for the inner corner highlight, a brow bone highlight, which is where I have it today. On the lid color, um, yeah, the lid, a lid color. It's just so beautiful, super duper intense. These are such a dream to work with. You guys have heard me chirp about these and pretty much all these products like multiple times throughout the year. <laughs> for eyeliner, what would this video be without telling you guys that I love the Kat Von D tattoo liner in the Trooper shade, which is a black, a black, it's just a liquid eyeliner. The most easy to work with, and let me tell you, I suck at liner, so I will never be without this. Longest wearing, not only longest wearing on the eye, but longest functioning, 
meaning it doesn't dry out before it's gone and it's just good stuff. And then for like a pencil liner, and specifically I love these for the lower waterline, these are the ColourPop, what are you called? Cream gel liners. And these are like a click up, swirl up pencil. And specifically with these, I like the cream ones. There are some that are more like a, not like a glitter or a sparkle, but they're more of like a sheen. And I just find that these, the cream ones, with no sheen last longer in my waterline personally. So I love these, I love all the colors, but I just grabbed two here. I like any of the colors just in the waterline for like a kick. So five bucks, definitely an amazing product. I have three mascara favorites, and the first one is probably no surprise to you. I use this every time I wear mascara. I put it on my lower lash line. This is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. It is a super, just small, like natural bristle brush. It's just, and it's waterproof. I don't know if it's, is it waterproof? I don't know if it's waterproof, but it's super long wearing and it works on my really watery, runny allergy eyes. So I love that. I'll never be without that. And then another one that I am obsessed with um, is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And this is everything that I wish the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara was. I'm trying to show you the wand. It's the like an hourglass shaped wand and I like the Too Faced one but it just flakes on me and it's not the longest wear. And there's just something about this that works so well. I love it. It's just volumizing, lengthening, easy to work with, doesn't clump up. It's, it's buildable. So I, I think this is like a very underrated mascara. So definitely love that one. And the last one is a drugstore mascara, which is by Maybelline. I think Maybelline has like my favorite drugstore mascaras. This is the Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. And it's like a, where are we? <laughs> a rubberized bristle and kind of like short little nubbies, but for some reason this just works. Now this gives a little bit of, it gives decent volume, but more so like extension and length on the lashes and it just looks really separated and defined but not super like plain. It's just, it's a good mascara. I've gotten like the most questions about this and people ask when I'm just wearing this, they ask if I'm wearing false lashes and I'm definitely not. So the Push Up Drama by, or the Falsies Push Up Drama by Maybelline, definitely check it out if you haven't. All right, so here's the situation with eyebrow products. I switch up my eyebrows, my eyebrows, my eyebrows all the time. I wear Anastasia powder, I wear the Brow Wiz, I wear the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I just switch it up all the time because I love brows and I just love playing with new stuff and finding the next best thing. However, I can't do this video without talking about my ultimate favorite brow product. This is the Clinique Just Browsing Brush On Styling Mousse. And I have this in multiple colors because I've used it, actually I think I lied, I have it in like two or three colors because I, I used it when my hair was lighter at the beginning of the year and obviously now when it's darker. So this current shade is Deep Brown. This is a tiny little wand, super tiny, so it's good for, you know, the brows. And this is like everything that the Benefit, what is that called? The Benefit eyebrow product that looks just like this, that stuff is amazing, but it doesn't have very many colors. It has two colors to choose from and they're very ashy or very gray. Whereas this one has some decent colors to choose from, a nice range of colors. This one kind of will cling onto your eyebrows and like basically volumize them. It's pretty awesome stuff. I use this to set my brows with. I use it just for a more natural like filled in brow but without a lot of effort. It's just good stuff. Going back to eyeshadows, I totally forgot these, they were hidden, but this is the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow. This one in the, is in the color Girl Talk, but in general, I just love these. They're like, kind of like a cream powder product, very metallic and shiny and just really beautiful, easy to work with, so I love those. And then I had to shout out the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows because I just use these so much and I really do enjoy these. Um, this one's in the color Fringe. I just grabbed a couple of my favorite ones. This is one of my favorite kind of more neutrally ones, like an all over lid color. And then one of my just favorite for the uniqueness shade is So Quiche, which looks like a thousand different colors all in one. It's so pretty. It's like gold, purple, silver, pink. 
It's like so many colors in one, so I love those. All right, and the last category for this video is lip products, and I have a lot. So let's start with lip liners. I have three by MAC. You guys probably know what one of them is. <laughs> it is this tiny little nub in MAC Stone, which is a taupey gray color. I love this for contouring the lips and faking, look at that nub, how cute is that? And faking a fuller lip look. Next is Oak which kind of fakes a bigger lip line or like a more extended real estate of a lip line with looking really natural. Probably my favorite or my personal perfect kind of nudie rosy color which just looks just like my lip color but a little bit you know better but very similar is, is Dervish. So this is just a really great pinky rosy nude color that goes with pretty much anything. And then the other lip liner is NARS. I don't know the formula because it wore off, but it's in El Agua, which is a pretty popular color. It's like a purpley, rosy pink color, and I just love the formula of that. So those are my favorite lip liners. And then let's do, let's do liquid lipstick. I just have two formulas to shout out. Might come as no shock to you guys, but the first is Ofra liquid lipstick specifically i love the color laguna beach i also love santa anna but i have misplaced her so i only have this one to show you and then the dose of color liquid lipsticks i just grabbed a couple of the neutrally shades that i wear most often so i have stone and bear with me um i do have sand as well i don't wear this on its own because it's super nude but i like to um, put this in the center of the lips for like a more dimension. For lipsticks, I have, I think, just two different formulas. So, of course, the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. I mean, if you don't have one of these and you have, like, $32 to throw away on a lipstick, you have to get one. My favorite three colors are Anita, there, and then Raquel, which is one of my favorite peachy nude colors. Such a perfect peachy nude for fair skin. And then Anna, yes. She is a beautiful, like a smoky rose color. And then my last favorite lipstick are the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Lip Cream. Is that what they're called? Lamarck Lip Cream. And today I'm actually wearing in Infamous, Infamous, which is like this, kind of like a mauvey rose color. So long wear, like not matte, but kind of, not like super shiny or glossy, but they just last so long the packaging on both of these formulas is just is magnetic and luxurious which it should be because it's expensive and then the other color that i love is boy gorgeous which is this beautiful berry color my other favorite shade is kiss kiss bang bang which is this color here so love those and then last but not least i have this lip gloss that has been living in my purse since i got it this is the by beauty cream lip gloss in the color opal which is this opalescent color it's like a milky white but it goes on the lips and it looks kind of like i don't even know if you can see that it looks kind of like blue like a blue tint a pink tint a purple tint it, which sounds really weird but it's just ultimately flattering and it just it just kind of looks I don't know it makes your lips look so big and like luscious it's just really really beautiful and I love the formula so if this is a color that is kind of like scary for you which it shouldn't be because it's just enhancing and flattering you can also wear this color like over anything else that you want to to make it more like multi-dimensional but this formula comes in other colors as well but this has been my favorite and those my friends are my makeup favorites for 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you made it to the end of the video because I'm sure it was long, but I try to go through it super fast. Please let me know like your favorites in the comments below so I can check those out if I haven't already. And also please let me know if you want to see like a part two of like miscellaneous beauty stuff, makeup brushes, skincare, just like other miscellaneous stuff. Be happy to do that if you guys want to see it. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.